You found it. Your home for the best content on your favorite team, the Fighting Tigers of LSU. Do us a favor. Subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments below. Be sure to smash that like button. LSU really struggled offensively against Arkansas. And Brian Kelly said, look, we've seen three-man fronts before. And, and basically what you saw was Arkansas drop eight, rush three, largely. But, man, they brought a lot of pressure, and LSU didn't handle it well. Um, a- any reason for that that you maybe noticed in that game? Um, you know what? It, it was. Uh, didn't you expect after the week before and what's gone on and what they've been through and you and I didn't get to talk about that because I know the scheduling and stuff this past week, but um, I expected it to be a close game. I, I did. I expected it to be a kind of an ugly win. Um, and I, I don't know why you go into a game and one week you handle pressure because look at the other side. They they, they couldn't block uh, Perkins either. So right. they're feeling a lot worse at LSU. I'll <laughs> tell you why I like games like this. I know Brian Kelly, and by the way, Brian Kelly can coach his ass off. I know, right? Well, we can we can get to that. This dude, think where they were a month into the season and where they are now. But neither here nor there until they have to finish this thing up. But go in there. You're playing a, a – re- Arkansas is always physical. They, they always get after it up front. They always have some people that can move you around. And for whatever reason – it didn't go smooth. They did not handle pressure. They what dropped back to throw it a handful of times. I think they it was he was fifteen attempts is what it ended up in. But sometimes it, I, I've been in games where you say we should dominate them. I've watched them and played in them. And then next thing you know, you're like, why are what is wrong? What's wrong there? Why am I not you know putting my foot in the ground? Or what's the escapability? All those things come into play. I don't know if the three man front bothered them. They've seen it before. But Arkansas did a nice job of not giving up a ton of home runs and staying in it and playing physical and stayed in the game with a big play themselves. So, But I love games like this. I'm going to tell you why. I find out a lot about a team. I do far more in this one, and I found out a lot about LSU going into having to play in some of these games because I, I'm a big battle-tested guy. I didn't think Arkansas was going to be easy, and I don't know why we would. They're well-coached. They looked like they had energy. And, of course, LSU is going to get their best. Why? Because now LSU is in a national championship hunt. So. I, I thought it would be an ugly win. Um, I thought there'd be a little more cushion, but they held on, which tells me that they had to win a different way this week. They ran it pretty damn well. They, they're going to have to obviously get back to making the, those big plays in the passing game, which we've seen them now start to make. So I like the way they ran the football. Um, they'll have to deal with it because what, what happens is, um, Matty, is you'll, as a coach now, you go in and you watch tape and you say, okay, now we can change it up because by the time one of these really good teams runs into them again, or even what they play A and M soon, right next week. Next week, right? Yeah. A&M, yeah. Right, A and M. They're even though A and M's bad, they're going to look at the tape and say, "Well, here's what Arkansas did. Let's see if we can generate the same thing and maybe force a couple extra turnovers and stay in this thing." And I do believe the game's in College Station, if I'm not mistaken. Is, yeah. Am I correct? Yeah. yeah, there you go. So they'll try. To, that's sneaky, just because. They've got nothing to lose other than trying to protect their coach from getting a heave ho and being the most under uh, the, the most underwhelming team in college football right now in A and M. So I expected it to be a closer game at Arkansas. I did, and they gutted it out. And I I find out a lot about a team's guts when they go through that. And emotionally, I I, I figured this was probably going to happen. But keep an eye on the tape of future opponents and how they approach what Arkansas did to slow them down a little bit on the pressure part of the game. Sean, if you're a quarterback. And it, so one of the things we've seen Jaden Daniels do exceptionally well this year is when teams have made that decision, right? They're going to play. They're they're going to play coverage. Uh, they're going to yep. go to, to dime. Well, that's left rushing lanes for Jaden Daniels. He just couldn't get to the edge against Arkansas. So right, is it one of those? So if if you are LSU, if you're Mike Denbrock and you're game planning for that in the future, how do you start to plan against that? I, I here's the deal. First off, on the escape part. Sometimes the other guy who's on scholarship two is going to win. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's not like they were playing you know, Slippery Rock. No disrespect to Slippery Rock. <laughs> Arkansas is pretty good. And you could, uh, the, the thing that Arkansas did extremely well, and Matty, you hit on it, but they were disciplined, right? What happens is you're afraid of guys getting like Jaden getting in run lane. So what do you do? You get undisciplined and get out of your – keep your outside arm free so he can't break contain. So you say, uh, it's called the hero syndrome. Let me go get the guy. I've watched him on tape. He's killing people with his arm and his legs. So let me go be the hero. What's he do? 
dips inside, boom, gets the edge, and now you're hosed because now he's in space and he can throw and he can run and he's and he can do he can get you. And then when you're keeping in lanes, um, important because he's dominated those types of plays. But when he can break a team, these guys that are east and west escape guys, they'll climb, but that they can do that and beat you that way. Defenses cannot stand that, so you've got to be disciplined against them. And it's risky in the at that part as well because if he can get up inside, there's also lanes. But here's how why playing against like dropping eight or dropping seven if they're rushing three becomes a problem is because quarterbacks and, and young quarterbacks and all college quarterbacks are young. I've always said this. Give me a young quarterback against man coverage, pressure, blitz to where I say, dude, catch the ball on the gun, throw a quick fade, quick slant, get it out of your hand. Mm. It's a one-person read. Once we know who to go to, ball comes out. When you have coverage and it's not in rhythm where you go curl, flat, check down, or dig, you know, a flat route to sail route to shallow cross to sit down to pivot, whatever it is, that you're getting through your progressions, the patience that comes in. And what is Jaden really good at? Quick twitch, man. He's, he's sudden. And when he got sudden, you always rely on that. When that we all do. I relied on my arm to throw it into windows that weren't there. It got me in trouble. Mm. And so, but it also bailed me out at times because of something I couldn't do. So I've all, if I was playing against a team that had a guy that could kill me with good receivers that can escape right now and man pressure that they could protect it, he could get it out and knew who was coming, I would play coverage as well. I'd, it's, I'd passive, I wouldn't play him overly aggressive. I would play him passive aggressive to make sure that he had to hesitate on the run where he doesn't get a clean break. And I would also force him to go one, two, three. Because I'd rather live with him going 18 to 25 for a buck 68 and a touchdown on all underneath stuff, then blitz him. He hits a home run, 80 yard touchdown, breaks our back. Now we go back to playing coverage, and now they can boom, boom, boom. And before you know it, we get impatient on defense, and now we pressure again, and he kills us again. And if we miss him on the first sack, he's got good enough athletic ability to escape. I've always believed with young quarterbacks, when in doubt, now, there's a time and a place in red zone and backed up where you try to blitz a fourth guy off the boundary corner and boom, hit him in the back. I get that. I'm just talking about base. I always want young quarterbacks or guys in a new system, which this is still due. It's one year. I always want young quarterbacks to have to go through coverage, college or NFL, because they get impatient. That built-in time clock starts to wear out, and maybe they bail too early and don't get through the progressions. Yeah, it's it. It's so interesting, the, the, as you mentioned, sort of the, the one read throw, just the quick throw. Yep. It just seemed to be yep. so absent on Saturday. To it was. The they didn't hit that home run. That's right. And, you know, whether it's being physical at the line of scrimmage, the goal when you have that, Matty, when you're playing a defense that, and I didn't mean to interrupt you, no. but just to, to, to further this point, is that when you're a corner or a linebacker or you're walked out and you're playing dime package or if, if it's a big guy playing on a small, whatever it is, you want to take them off their mark so they don't get that rhythm throw, right? That's the whole key. Make him hold it a little longer, then we can pressure him and hit him when he's throwing and we get a cheap pick or what have you. The problem is if you let guys get off clean and blitz, the ball's out. The ball's out. When you're playing zone and mixing in pressures, like even zone blitz or mixing them in, now heads everywhere, head on a swivel, and you get to the point where impatient, you try to force a big play. You try to force a big play. Try to force a big play. The guy you had there in New Orleans his whole career in, 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 in the NFL, patient you to death, and instead of you getting impatient as an offense, he did it enough where they forced the other defense to say, enough of this. He's killing us by dropping eight. He's getting through his progressions. He's a veteran. Now we'll blitz him. And then what they do, boom, 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 Michael Thomas separates. Drew knows where to throw it. Yeah. One step, catch, release on a fade route, turns it into a 65, 75-yard touchdown. So, yeah, it, and it, it goes various. If you're going to blitz, you better have guys that could take you off your mark on the edge, those corners, because if they get a free release and the quarterback knows it's pressure, you're hosed. You're counting on them to hold up just a second so he can get out there and, and get rid of the ball. But zone, a lot of times, if you can, if you can prevent him from breaking contain, make them get through their reads, that always helps on a young player. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.